Audio on demand from Vision Christian Media. Exploring faith and the future. Neil Johnson and Bible teacher, Dr. Camille Majdali. We've been working our way through a wonderful series talking about a great salvation. As we continue that theme today, Camille, where do we start by understanding what this great salvation means to us all as individuals? All right, Neil, thanks for that question. (laughs) I've been waiting for it to be asked, and I'm delighted to share what I believe the Lord has shown me. The great salvation found in Christ is, in my estimation, seven areas of life or seven areas of reality. And Christ saves us in all seven arenas. The primary one, the one that should be so well known to every born-again believer, is what was said by the angel, the archangel, to Joseph when he discovered that his espoused wife, Mary, was pregnant. And the angel said to Joseph in Matthew one twenty one. She shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. This is an amazing verse. It actually says a lot. She, that's Mary, is going to bring forth this child named Jesus. Now, the name Jesus is Greek. It comes from the Hebrew name Yeshua, and the Hebrew name Yeshua is the diminutive of the Hebrew name Yehoshua. Yehoshua is Joshua, the Joshua who was the great commander that led the children of Israel into Canaan. And the name Joshua or Yehoshua means salvation or savior. Not only we told that Jesus will come to this planet as a savior, And his name, by the way, Jesus, is used 979 times in the Bible. But it tells us from what he's going to save us. And it says he's going to save us from our sins. That alone makes salvation in Christ a great salvation. That alone tells us that no matter what is the sin, whether it's in the the heart, in the mind, in the hands— no matter whether it's a little tiny sin or whether it's a headline-making sin, he saves us from them all. He doesn't just merely give us forgiveness of sins up to that point of salvation. He saves us from the sin nature that causes us to do the evil things that we do. Yes, he's called Jesus because he saves us from our sins. Camille, these days it might appear that sometimes we're reluctant to talk about sin and sins in the way that you're describing them now. How much should we talk about sin if we're going to be getting a a right attitude to God's great salvation? Well, that's a good question. How much to talk about sin? Well, I think we should be talking about it in the sense that it's very much alive and well on planet Earth, even if we're not hearing much about it in our churches. I don't say we have to talk about it morning, noon, and night. I don't say that it has to dominate our pulpits all the time. But it is an issue. And it is destroying people's lives, souls, and eternities. Think of it like an early warning service. Think of it like when they had uh, the cyclones in North Queensland. If we don't warn people that the cyclones are coming, we're doing a terrible disservice. Sure, it's inconvenient to leave your homes or batten down the hatches or, you know, don't go to work that day or what have you or store up some food. It's inconvenient, but at least it saves their lives. How much more should we be offering this early warning service to the world? Faith and the Future with Neil Johnson and Dr. Camille Majdali from Teach All Nations. Find articles, videos and podcasts from Dr. Camille, plus today's and other episodes of Faith in the Future in the Vision app or at vision.org.au. Thanks for taking time to listen to this audio on demand from Vision Christian Media. To find out more about us, go to vision.org.au.